Here we go. Hi, Charlie Laduca here from ProBats. Uh, we're out in sunny Arizona with uh, one of my teams that I play with from Buffalo, New York. The weather's great this time of year. We just finished up a ball game. We're out here playing in the MSBL World Series. We've got a new product I'm excited to tell you about. It's called Clean Up Batter. Uh, one of the best products around on the market for taking pine tar, grip stick off your bat, ball marks, all natural, biodegradable. It's great stuff. We're going to take a walk into the dugout and show it to some of the guys and see what they think. Come on along. How's it going, guys? Good, Charlie. Yeah, right. <laughs> Not much of a ball game, but we're going to get better next time, I promise. Hey, I want to show you guys this. I know you know we've been around for a while. You haven't seen this. This is a new product called Cleanup Batter that we developed. Um, we put it together. It's all biodegradable, natural, and it's going to take pine tar, grip stick, ball marks off your bat like nothing. And uh, it's it's not going to harm the finish of the bat. That's the most important thing. So what do you say we give it a try? Who's got a couple bats here? Let's see what it looks like. Sure. Alan, you can get a close up of this stuff. See what you think. All right, this uh, you know, here we go with a lot of a lot of pine tar in this bat. Now the nice thing about this is you don't need a whole lot. Uh, you can use just a regular household sponge. Everybody has these in the house. Uh, for the really tough stuff, um, you don't need a whole lot of this. You can put it on. You just let it soak in a little bit like that. And probably for something like this, we'll take this side of the sponge and just rub it in. And then you can just take it and flip it over and scrub it that way. Now this has been on for quite a while. So if uh, we would probably let it soak in a little bit more, but you can see by just doing that little bit and then taking a rag, it's going to take absolutely every single bit off of that. And the great news is that you know all this eventually adds weight to your bat. So personally, after every game or every other game, I like to start over with a fresh bat. So you can see how easily that cleared that off. And if we were even to do a little bit more, and really not even pressing very hard, and again, just finishing it up with a rag, you can see that we could absolutely make this bat look like new. What do you think? I think it's great. Brings it right back down to the right to the wood. So who's got great. a bat with some ball marks? Right here. That's the other oh, thing. Oh, ball marks? Yeah, that one doesn't have Mike too many on. I think Mike's got one over there. We'll do oh, the same yeah. thing. You know, you get ball marks all over the different colors from the balls. And again, I like to start fresh. So you can see on this bat, again, it's been around. Uh, so you got a nice black finish on that. Again, we just let it soak in just a little bit like that. Take it around to the other side. Scrub it up. Rub it off. Wow. I mean, look at how easy that is. I mean, this wow. bat literally we could make look like new. And we could go all the way around that bat and just kind of keep doing the same thing. And really, I'm not pressing very hard. And especially when you get a little bit of maintenance, if you do it, like I said, every second or third game, literally in a matter of seconds, it doesn't hurt the label either. It doesn't. It doesn't take it off the label. It's not like mineral spirits or uh, any kind of paint thinner that's really going to harm the finish of your bat. And I know that this bat's been around for a long time, and look what we got there. So it also doesn't soak into the pores of the bat either. That's the best thing. I did a little test on it with mineral spirits and a couple other products, and I weighed it on a postal scale. And what you're going to find is this retained less weight than anything else on the market. I put it on a raw bat wood, or a raw wood bat, I should say, and the other product soaked in and added ounces to the bat. This added hardly anything at all. So if you're really particular about your bats, I mean, a half ounce is a big deal on a bat. Absolutely. Uh, so our, our company, ProBats, is distributing this. Uh, it's a great product. It sells for $10. You, know, you can get it up on the website. Uh, ball players all over the country are starting to catch on to this. And um, I think it's just a great product out there. Impressed? Very much so. I want to buy it. What do you think? Stuff. It's good stuff. Oh, it is. Um, I get a lot of bats in New York. Right. Well, we're finding a lot of guys take pride in their equipment. That's the great thing about wood bats. It's your personal piece of equipment. You take a lot of pride in it. You know, you, you really design it the way you want. It should weigh what you want to weigh. And uh, this won't harm the finish. It won't, it won't harm the durability of the bat. So I'm really excited about this product. Thanks for helping out, boys. Well, we got a game again right? tomorrow, right? <laughs> Tomorrow's the day we go win. Yes. All right, there it is. Clean up batter from ProBats. Get online. Check it out at ProBats.net. Uh, also, cleanupbatter.net. Thanks very much.